Hello, Lisa. Good afternoon. Well, three blockades have been carried out by the community of the 11 kilometer, the community as we usually know as Rondira. The Westview, Bubirak, and Tamhoka community demand the government that they comply with the agreements that was to receive every 15 days the water tank truck. In November, we come in an agreement, we make a, a, like a mesa sectorial with the government, and in the meeting, the, the Secretary of, of uh, Public Service tell us that he compromised himself that every 15 years they were going to send a uh, water truck for the whole community. And when I thought the whole community, I thought from Coop Seaside go right down to, to Elsibar. So uh, uh, there is a lot of needs, and the government, we need the government to come and sit down and talk with we because this is our ethnic risal territory, we are risal. The situation is that for this community, it becomes desperate to live without the aqueduct service. We are making a call to the government to just please see what are the possibilities. We see right now that they are doing, they are extending the line of the water system in the Cove Seaside section, and I see like they are turning, going up, but they don't have this no projection for this area. So we just want the government to attend to the cry of the people we are citizens of the island and we also stand in need of the basic things them that we need as human as the water these islanders are waiting for an answer and a prompt solution from the departmental government and of course the latest last news will be aware of the development of this news with you all Sylvia Mitchell actually for the latest last news